Hey, this is Esther. I just wanted to tune in today really quick, as promised, um, to go over the resources in the free holiday bundle that I put together. Um, I didn't move into an asylum or just like in the midst of this move and this little square of wall in the bedroom is like the only um, area that is not overtaken with boxes and stuff. So that's why I'm sitting on a chair in my bedroom. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Esther Avant. I'm a personal trainer and nutrition coach, and I work with women to help them lose weight, become healthier, happier, and more confident by making small and sustainable changes to their day-to-day -day lives. Um, also, I hate wearing my hair up, but now everyone knows about my stick-out ear situation, so there you have it. Um, so like I said, I put together a bunch of holiday resources that are kind of things that I wish that I had at certain points in my life to help me navigate the next like six weeks, six weeks actually. Um, and that's everything from just kind of gen general survival tips of how to navigate a bunch of parties, stuff like that. And also, oh hi Angel, thank you, yeah. Um, uh, thanks for distracting me. Um, tips for navigating holiday parties, how to get in quick workouts, um, all sorts of things. So I just wanted to go over everything that's included. They're all free um, and the link is in the description of the video. I just learned how to do that. So that's cool. Um, so that's like above me maybe. I'll put it down there too. I don't really know where I'm pointing when I'm doing these things. But so the first thing is a six week um, healthy action calendar. And <laughs> thanks Angel. Um, and every day has like a quick five minute action of something healthy to do either nutrition related, exercise related, or just general like stress, mindset, psychology, that sort of thing. Um, so things like taking five minutes to meditate, parking further away in the parking lot and walking, that sort of thing. So um, every day is like one task to do and you can check it off. So the task for today, this is day one, task is to print and sign your commitment form. So that's this guy right here. Uh, in my mind when I was planning this, I was gonna bring a pen in and I was gonna sign it for all of my viewers, um, but I forgot my pen. So I'll, honor system, I will sign it after. Um, but it says that uh, things along the line of, I'm ready, willing, and able to make this holiday season the most awesome yet. I commit to prioritizing my health and my sanity and utilizing the resources I've been given. Um, to adjusting my expectations during a busy and indulgent holiday season, being kind to myself, forgiving imperfections. So just kind of a reminder of things that you want to keep in mind throughout uh, the next six weeks that essentially you're going to make time for yourself, you're going to do your best, but you're also going to uh, forgive yourself and recognize that you're not striving for perfection. You're just trying to make it to 2017 without getting a ton of weight and you know, feeling badly about yourself. So that's what that's all about. Um, then we have what I call the survival guide. So this is, I don't know how many, I don't know, 50 or so tips about, um, I broke them up into different categories. There's mindset tips, there's party tips, there's general tips and lifestyle tips. So um, just some interesting stuff there about how to go into a uh, social situation if you're trying to make healthy choices. Um, I bolded some of my favorite of them, like don't fall prey to the all or nothing mentality. So just because you slip up once or maybe overindulged once doesn't mean that you've completely messed up. And it's what, they, what you do consistently that makes the biggest impact. So a few indulgences aren't gonna set you back, a few weeks of them might. So, um, you know, just trying to remind yourself not to throw in the towel when you slip up, to just wipe the slate clean and move forward. So there's a bunch of tips like that. Um, and then some interesting things, you know, sort of lifestyle related uh, regarding some studies that have been done about social eating and that sort of thing, um, like resisting the urge to wear your stretchy pants from Thursday to January 5th. Um, and actually there was a study done on prison inmates that showed that on average, uh, prison inmates gain like 20 to 25 pounds over the course of their incarceration and don't realize until they get released and their clothes don't fit. And a lot of them have said that it's due to the jumpsu jumpsuits being so roomy that you don't really notice um, the changes. So uh, it's similar for wearing stretchy pants or you know wearing your uh, wearing a baggy dress or something that you 
no is going to be very forgiving. It's also kind of allowing you to um, to overindulge. So if you're wearing something more form fitting, um, you may feel more confident, but also you'll kind of have that reminder if you're wearing a belt, you'll have a reminder of like things are getting uncomfortable. Maybe I need to pump the brakes a little bit. So you've got that guy in there. Um, one of my favorites is the tips for drinking. Um, just a couple of tips there. Avoiding pre-gaming because probably you're not going to drink less whenever you get to where you're going, but you're going to have those extra calories from whatever you drank by yourself. Um, choosing drinks with as few ingredients as possible. The more ingredients, generally the more sugar, the more calories. Um, and then some drink this, not that sort of situation. So like a vodka tonic, um, instead drink a vodka soda because tonic has sugar, soda doesn't, it's just carbonated water. So easy swaps that you can make and still get your booze, but um, you know maybe not do as much damage. We've got some healthy recipes. Um, some of my favorite recipe bloggers or cooking bloggers, I'm not a very good cook. Um, I do a few things and I do them over and over and over again and that's it. For the holiday season, sometimes you want to get a little bit more adventurous. So these are a few of my favorite recipe sites and then I picked some of my favorite actual recipes from the sites and linked those. So they're live links to these recipes here. Some apps, some veggies and sides and some healthier desserts. Um, Another cool thing is this Is It Worth It flowchart. Um, so obviously the holiday season is full of indulgences and oftentimes it's hard to really tell when something is worth it. So the flowchart kind of, I'm not sure how well you can see the detail, but the flowchart kind of walks you through, is this food actually special in some way? Is it a seasonal family recipe? That sort of thing. Um, if not, probably not worth it. If it is, is it something that you really enjoy? If not, probably not worth it. Um, if it is, will you be able to eat each bite slowly and for maximum enjoyment? If not, maybe not worth it. Um, if so, enjoy it and pay, pay attention to when you're satisfied, not stuffed, and call it good there. Um, and then the last couple things, I've got a bunch of quickie at-home workouts. Uh, I've been a certified personal trainer for, it'll be 11 years in January. So these are just some quick, they're all body weight stuff. It's all stuff that you can do at home if you can carve out, you know, like a... I don't know, six by six square on your rug, which I cannot do right now, but um, probably most of you can. Um, and then everything in there is live linked to a YouTube video with a exercise demo. So they're super quick, probably the longest one would take you like half an hour, um, but there are some that are as short as like five minutes, 10 minutes. Um, so those are just really good ways if you're exceptionally busy, don't have time to go to the gym, if you're traveling, these are all really good things that you can do from anywhere no matter where you are. Um, and then there's some fun, I don't know if they're fun, but they're holiday themed, which should make them fun. Um, 12 days of Christmas and then a New Year's, Eve, New Year's Eve countdown. So those are fun to do, you know, near that holiday. And then some that all they require is a dish towel. So if you're gonna be in the kitchen anyway, um, you can double up, you can clean and work out at the same time. You get those uh, dish towels cleaning up that floor. It's probably gross, mine would be gross. And then the last one is a progress tracker. So we've got a bunch of different columns on this um, second page and all the descriptions on the first page. So the idea over the holidays is really, you're probably not setting yourself up for success if your goal is to lose weight, but you could realistically maintain your weight throughout the holiday season. So that's sort of the point of these review sources is to not let yourself fall behind through the next six weeks so that when you hit uh, January, you don't have to like dig yourself out of the hole that you just put yourself in. Um, so again, tracking your progress isn't to make you crazy. If you've got some bad history with the scale, don't bother. Um, and there are actually plenty of ways that I uh, discuss to track your progress, um, other indicators besides the scale, how clothes are fitting, how many workouts you got in, if you were making good choices. Hi, oh, I don't know who that was, but thanks for the thumbs up. Um, so yeah, again, this is um, just an accountability thing that oftentimes if you see something in writing, then you are more likely to pay attention to it. So if you're jotting down your weight, whether your behavior is aligned with your goals, um, any accomplishments that you're proud of, you are more likely to stick with them throughout the holiday season. Um, and again, like I talked about uh, a few days ago about when regards to Thanksgiving, the individual holidays themselves are just a, you know, a single day, single meal, sort of thing and they don't need to become anything more than that so 
you know, we're going into Thanksgiving week, people start to sort of think like, oh my God, then, you know, Black Friday and Cyber Monday and, you know, those are our holidays. And um, then I have all these parties and then it's Christmas and then it's New Year's and like, I might as well just forget it until January. So my point of putting all this together was to help combat that attitude of, I'm just gonna say, you know, fuck it and better luck in 2017, right? Is don't, whoa, who's doing all that? I don't know. Oh, close up, hello. <laughs> I don't know who that is. I feel like that's probably my dad. Um, uh, it's very distracting though. <laughs> um, so anyway, the point is that you do not need to let these next six weeks spiral into, um, you know, weight gain and unhappiness and, um, you know, sort of disappointment in how you handled them. So I want to arm you with as many resources as I can to, um, to make you be successful this holiday season. So um, if there's anything that you have questions on or anything else that you'd like to see, anything you're wondering like how I would handle a certain situation, please feel free to ask. Um, and if you have not yet signed up to actually get the resources, I know I gave you the rundown, but if you want the actual PDFs, um, the link is in the title of the video and also I will put it again in the comment section just to be safe. Um, so feel free to sign up for that. You will get a couple emails from me just sort of checking in over the next six weeks and seeing how you're doing. And I plan on doing a few more accountability videos throughout the six weeks. Um, if it's something that you think friends or family would be interested in, please feel free to either share the video or um, send them the link to sign up as well. Thanks for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon.